what can someone do, let's say, while they're in high school or college or taking a master's to help prepare for the LSAT? Well, the biggest thing I would say to anyone is if, if they're young, if they have several years ahead of them before they apply to law school is read more, read as much as you possibly can, because reading comprehension is hard to improve on overnight. But if someone is in college or a recent grad, I'd say if they're in college, there are some particular courses that may help. There's a strong correlation between your philosophy majors and high LSAT scores. I'm not sure, of course, if majoring in philosophy leads one to get the high LSAT score or if the kind of person predisposed to take a philosophy major is likely to do well. But either way, I think navigating dense text is something that certainly one does in a philosophy class. And you don't have to be a philosophy major, but you might want to take a philosophy course or two. Exactly. Yeah. You don't want to do it if it's going to kill your GPA, but if it interests you and you might do well, it could certainly help down the line. And it may help you as a lawyer, too. And what, what else, what other things can someone do or even do after college or on their own to prepare for the LSAT? The biggest thing I would say is carve out the time. So get buy-in from your employer if you're working, get buy-in from your family to help out, to mitigate other obligations you have going on during the period that you're studying for the LSAT. Most people, especially those who are paralegals, they typically work very long hours, and that presents an obstacle to fitting in time to study for the LSAT, which is a grueling exam when you're already tired after a long day.